Hey, my name is Jamie and I'm a film photographer. So today, we'll be finding out which is the best 35mm film under $10. The three different film cameras we are going to be using today are the Pentax SPO 115, Minota 7000 and Olympus XA. As for the film, we'll be testing out the Fujifilm Superior 200, Akfa Vista 400 as well as the Kodak Go 200. To test them out, we'll be exploring three types of photography, portrait, still life and scenery. Let's go! So we finally had the films developed. I've not used these films for quite some time, so it's actually quite interesting to see the variation in results. So looking at the portraits, you can tell that Akfa, it has more contrast, almost like it has been taken with a flash. Now let's look at Fujifilm. It has a more washed up kind of look, and you can tell that the black here isn't as apparent, whereas the Kodak Gold has a more warm tone to it. And if you look carefully, you can actually tell that the red stands out a lot more here. Moving on to the objects, the contrast on the Akfa shot is actually much more apparent. The picture has much more dimension and when you look at the details, especially the grains on the ground, it's actually really obvious. And now looking at Fujifilm, because of the lack in contrast, everything looks much flatter. When we look at Kodak Gold, it's still very warm. However, because of the warm tone drop, it has washed out some of the details. Looking at the scenery shots, Akfa once again it stays true to colour the most but with higher saturation. Looking at Fujifilm's uh, scenery shot, everything is very blue so I don't think it's the kind of film you'll want to get if you want to bring out colours like white or very warm colours. Now looking at Kodak Gold, it's still very warm so warm colours will definitely stand out in shots like that because of the nature of the saturation. So after looking at all the photos, my personal preference is the Akfa Vista 400 and colours are always very apparent which I think is something that is very safe to go with and reminds me a little bit of Martin Pass photography as well. So at the end of the day, it's really up to individual taste and preference. No one film is the same because each film has their own special element. I hope this video has been helpful. My name is Jamin and thank you so much for watching. Bye bye!